hello everyone. Uh, today we have Mohammed Wasif Ansari with us. He is one of our test series enrolled student and uh, an expected topper in 2022 gate. So hi Wasif, uh, welcome and it's a great to have you here with us. So my name is Mohammed Wasif Ansari. I'm born and brought up in Kolkata, but basically from UP. I have completed my Bachelor of Engineering from Jalalpur University, Kolkata. Uh, I've started preparing for GATE last year. I mean, this is my second time. Last year also I appeared for GATE. Uh, last year I got a rank of 943. And this year I got a rank of AIR 68. Okay. So like this is your fourth year of FITEC? No, no, no. I'm working. I'm working in Wipro since eight months. Okay, so you are passed out in 2021 and uh, then you have taken the placement and uh, prepared for get in parallel. Simultaneously, yeah, simultaneously. What was your strategy for 2022? Yeah, I mean, uh, I tried to learn from my mistake that I did in 2021. I mean, I was like very egoistic. I mean, you know, there's some topics or some questions that you're like, yeah, I, I, this is my area. I mean, I wasted so many time, so much time of mine uh, in the 2021 examination, which I tried not to repeat in 2022. And I guess I didn't. So okay. I got there. <laughs> I'll try not to as much as possible. Okay. And so yeah. in 2022, by when you have completed your syllabus? Yeah, since uh, like this is my second time, I was like almost like done with the syllabus. So I just tried to revise as much as possible. Till August, I mean, till September, I was like learning. And then like from October, I started giving mocks and test series. Okay. You have started your test series from October and uh, in parallel with your revisions, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, uh, applied mock has started from October, I guess. The all in the yeah, mocks, yeah. which are free. Yeah. So I started from there. Okay. And those mocks like really helped me. Because the quality of questions were like very much. I mean, they're like similar to the gate exam and everything is like. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much for the appreciation. Yeah. So uh, how did you plan your uh, test series? Uh, like uh, how you have scheduled your topic test, subject test, grand test and all, and how you have managed revision in parallel? Like how many iterations of revision did you have? So I did like uh, in month of October, I thought I'll do a revision 2.0. So for okay. that, I like, uh, since like there are roughly 10 subjects. So I, what I used to do was I prepared three subjects. I mean, for each subject, I used to give three days, uh, at most two days for revision and the third day for like subject wise test or topic wise test. Okay. And along with that, uh, if I get a chance then I'll appear for the full length mock. Okay. So in the, in the month of October to November, I just like fully revised as much as possible. Okay. Then the last so, two months, I just give full more, full length more. So in last uh, three to four months, uh, you may have like three to four iteration of revision, roughly. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Did you find it manageable in parallel with the job? Like, what was your experience? How was your experience with this? Yeah, it was kind of hectic. I mean, you must be knowing that like corporate life is how how it works. I mean, nine to five, and plus work from home. I mean, in work from home, timing is not that predicted because you can you need to work like according to the company hour. so yeah it was hectic initially but with time when you when you get like familiar with the timings and all i mean you know you have to because you don't have any options left so yeah i mean with time it was like manageable initially it was like very hectic like whether i'm like i'll be able to do that like sometimes i used to feel like that i will make disaster i mean i, I, mean, I will do worse than my last year <laughs> like some thoughts used to come up but yeah but eventually everything fall into the place, right? Seems like. <laughs> so roughly how many hours you have invested in your preparation? Uh, like, I don't believe in our concept, ours concept. I just like, I make a target for every day. Like I need to finish this, this, this. Like if it takes even 10 minutes, then I'm done for that day. So I used to like do target wise, not hour wise. So there's no particular schedule. Whenever you get the time, you take your books and start studying Is it like that. No, generally I prefer morning and evening because in the daytime I used to be very busy. Um, okay. When you look back through your journey, do you find anything you should have uh, added into your preparation or you have changed something? Yeah, uh, I gave more mocks than last year. 
okay. and revise more. These two things I done, and I followed applied videos more, which I did in last year. <laughs> I think those things combinedly did some magic. So according to you, you should have get more time for the revision. Yeah, revision and simultaneously mock. Yes. Okay. So and what, try what to you... avoid. Do... Yeah. Try to avoid silly mistake as much as possible, and try to read the question properly, which I did this time as well, <laughs> and I lose few marks. But I'll say like try to read the question properly. Like this is very much essential, because fifty percent work is your done if you read the question properly. Otherwise, like if you can't, if you won't read a question properly, uh, there's like high chances you won't answer it correct. Exactly. Actually, uh, gate questions are not very lengthy to solve. It's better to invest more time in reading the question. Once the question is clear in your head, you can definitely solve it in like. a minute or two so yeah, yeah. Like, investing more time in reading we, questions is a really cool idea yeah but we the student like we just want to fetch the data and try to solve it asap uh, i think the language is very much important because this year the language was so much important because they framed few questions which were like i mean if you read it like very in a vague way you won't get it so yeah. reading a question is very much important Actually, I was about to ask that. That how do you deal with the uh, mistakes, or uh, how do you analyze the mistakes and work on the conceptual gaps? Yeah, I, what I used to do was first, like after giving a mock, I used to analyze the whole paper, like where I did a mistake or what. And if I find it like it's, it's a conceptual mistake, I used to go back and revise the concept again, so that I won't do it in the next time. Like for instance, if I like uh, if I am feeling that i'm weak in the chapter so i used to rev revision the whole uh, subject <laughs> okay <laughs> nice uh, is there anything you would like to suggest uh, our future aspirants like uh, who are going to face the same situation who are preparing uh, for the gate exam in parallel to their job so any suggestions any do's and don'ts from you for them like i know it's very difficult to prepare the job but save your time as much as possible and focus on your mistakes because uh, it's gate is a very relative exam it's not that you need to score 70 plus or 80 plus then only you will get a good rank all you have to do is like try to revise as much as possible and learn the concepts and practice practice is the key and since of the msqs i will suggest to follow standard books and uh, learn from good resources because msqs are very hard Okay, so what exactly uh, you have used for your preparation? Like uh, open online resources or uh, standard textbooks or any other course? Exactly. You have well, I'm very, well, I'm very bad at reading books, so I just followed videos only. Okay. <clears throat> open resource, you can say. Okay, so basically, it's a self preparation, right? Yeah, kind of. <clears throat> so, do you have any suggestions or questions for us? Uh. Questions? Yeah, <clears throat> I will like uh, really appreciate of you as well. You, I mean, of the mocks that all in the mocks that happened every month. I think those were like very good. I think you guys should increase the number of mocks as much as possible because <laughs> okay. those mocks really, really helped us. I mean, because if you notice the pattern now, generally people who got AIR hundred in the those mocks, mocks they really did well in the gate twenty twenty eight exam. So yeah. those mocks really helped. <laughs> We do notice that pattern actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so if you guys can increase the number, it will be really helpful for the future aspirants. Okay, cool. Noted. <laughs> okay, as Nawaseb, thank you so much for your time, and thanks. it's great to have you here. First of all, congratulations once again, yeah, and best wishes for your future. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you.